In 2019, both Oklahoma and Mississippi set annual records for number of tornadoes each one received in a single year. It's clear these forces of nature are not going away anytime soon. While some people make careers out of chasing tornadoes, it is probably best to stay as far away as possible. But some brave people did not receive the memo. On this episode of Underworld, we're going to be taking a look at five incredible tornadoes that were caught on camera. And believe me, some of these may surprise you. Let's get into it. So you probably have a good idea of what a tornado should look like. However, you may want to reconsider your preconceived notions. Tornadoes can take all kinds of shapes and forms. And if you're lucky enough, or unlucky enough, depending on how you view it, you may just get a chance to witness a fire tornado at some point in your life. This is a fire tornado that formed in Portugal during a series of wildfires. Technically speaking, it's known as a fire devil. Fire devils form when intense flames are caught in the middle of wind and dust. The result is a gust of wind picking up some of the flames and carrying them toward the sky. Portugal was hit with a series of devastating wildfires in 2017 that required roughly 1,000 firefighters to battle the flames. About 90% of the fires were caused accidentally or intentionally by human beings. The fires claimed the lives of 64 individuals, many of whom were on the road when they tried to flee areas most impacted by the fires. While the fire devil may be pretty, it also serves as a reminder of the devastation wildfires can have on entire communities. An EF5 rating is the most powerful designation a tornado can receive. They are rare, but if one ever touches down near you, you need to get out of there as quickly as possible. It basically means destruction is imminent, and you need to watch out. However, if you work as a storm chaser, then an EF5 tornado only means one thing. It's time to get in the van and get some awesome footage. That is what two storm chasers, Ryan Chandler and Nate Hewitt, did in 2011, when an EF5 tornado touched down in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. When the video begins, it just looks like there's a bad rainstorm out. Some rain has poured down, and briefly, you can see lightning in the distance. Several minutes pass of the storm chasers driving around, trying to get a better view of the tornado. Eventually, they find it, and it's bigger than they had initially imagined. The width of the tornado barely even fits in the frame of the camera. The thing is... Jesus Go, Chandler. <laughs> Jesus. Never in my life will I see this again. Oh my God. There's one frightening moment where the tornado appears to be approaching the freeway. The car begins to back up. A smart move. When chasing tornadoes, you need to remember that you never know when the storm could suddenly change directions, and you certainly do not want to be in the line of fire. Soon after this, the tornado crosses the road and carries on its destructive path. We don't know if this thing can change directions. We're not experts. Oh my god. You can see huge debris. Chandler, chill out for a second. Let's just sit right here. We're good right here. Shelly's gotta get safe. 
The storm chasers lose track of the storm and they eventually come across something much more haunting. The drive through a part of town that has been completely destroyed by the twister. Debris is scattered on the road. Power lines are down. It looks like the set of a disaster movie. It is heartbreaking to look at. I can't even recognize this place and I've driven up and down this road. We can't get there. God damn it. Um, see if you can hop right through there and that's power lines. We showed you a fire tornado, so in the interest of fairness, we're now going to show you a water tornado. This is what's known as a water spout. In the video, it almost looks as though it isn't moving at all. However, if you look at the water picked up nearest the ocean, you can see, in fact, the tornado is active. While it's possible for water spouts to become incredibly strong, most end up being fairly weak. This is an example of a weak one. Something interesting about water spouts is that even small ones can still be strong enough to pick up small animals in the vicinity. Fish, turtles, and frogs can get lifted up into the cyclone and brought all the way up to the clouds. Once the water spout dissipates, the animals are dropped wherever the storm headed. There have been plenty of reports over the years of flying fish landing 100 miles away from any water. So if you ever get fish in your area, don't worry. It's not the sign of the end times. It's probably just the result of a water spout a few cities away. On May 20th, 2013, a monster of a tornado touched down in Newcastle, Oklahoma. The storm steadily moved its way toward the city of Moore, growing more powerful every inch. When the video begins, you can see that the tornado is rather skinny off in the distance. It's gradually building up momentum until it touches the ground. The tornado slowly grows more and more powerful. It starts to pick up dust, almost making the entire storm look larger by comparison. If you watch the video closely, you can even see some brief flashes of light, likely coming from transformers getting destroyed amongst the wreckage. After a moment spent by the cameraman to get further away, the tornado creeps up closer. The base has grown substantially larger in size, and it's barreling toward him. After only a few minutes of existing, the tornado becomes the thing of nightmares. It grows darker and darker as it picks up more debris around it. In the end, this tornado took several lives and did millions in damage to the city of Moore.
Back in May 2013, it was just another normal day for citizens in Oklahoma. There had been bad weather in the area for a couple of days, but no one could have predicted exactly what was about to happen. At around 6 p.m., a tornado touched down west to southwest of the city of El Reno, rapidly growing in size. This tornado would soon become the widest tornado in recorded history. Wind speeds soon measured as high as 301 miles per hour, making it the second highest observed wind speeds on Earth. As it continued on its path, it soon crossed US Highway 81, where it officially grew in size to a record-breaking 2.6 miles in width. It was a storm to go down in the books for its size, power, destruction, and loss of life it caused. In this amateur footage shot by Ray Boak, we see just how disorienting and massive this storm truly was. Luckily, he made it out safe and was able to share this video for the world to see. Tornadoes, while destructive and terrifying, are also incredible and jaw-dropping. There's something humbling about seeing one in a video, not to mention in person. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave us some future ideas in the comments down below. With that, thank you all for watching, and make sure you tune in next time.